Welcome to Limit Break La Roba. Not to be confused with Labora. Okay. We have La Roba. The Kinder Surprise Egg. Oh, that starts with a banish. Uh, let's get rid of Hollow Heart. I mean, sure. Why not? So, the furniture weapon in the game. Absolutely hilarious in general. But, it is actually quite a good weapon. Like, it's not bad. Aside from the obvious meme. You know that it's just funny. Ooh, Torona's box right away. Perfect. Yeah, aside from the obvious meme, where it's like, what is really the point? Why do you exist? Like, you kind of work, but, like, why? <laughs> I you know? No, it's actually good. It's decent. Oh, uh, can I take something here? I don't think I can. Like, I could for the weapon itself, but as usual, we want to go for max curse as much as possible and see how the weapon performs. And I think... Now, this is gonna be my prediction. I think this weapon will be absolutely busted. And just kill everything on the screen. Now, whether it turns out to be true or not, you know, it could also be that it just bounces around like crazy. It can't keep up with the insane increases. That's why I want to have spinach. There we go. And then it just bounces at the top of the screen and nothing happens. And I'm sitting there like, uh, guys, help, help. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, let's hope that that doesn't happen. Hopefully. And there we have crown. Very good. Wow. We are making incredibly fast progress over here. I, uh, I'm actually not sure if I want to have Empty Tome next, or if I'll head over to the Curse items, and I think I'll just head over to the Curse items. Oh, there we go. Overall, if you get to a point where your weapon becomes strong on its own to kill everything, you don't really need Empty Tome. By the way, we won't take Duplicator. As far as I know, the weapon will get a mount, which means I have no idea, but like all weapons get a mount that can get a mount, so I hope it gets a mount. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't think we'll need that. Be hey, careful there, it's actually, it's actually quite spicy here. Uh, could you could you please kill these guys? Yeah, this is my concern. Like, imagine we have a ton of curse, right? We get 180% bonus, no, 230% bonus. So in total, with the starting 50%, we'll have 280%. So let's just hope this is not too much for the weapon itself. I could also go for Mad Groove at 11 minutes and just get everything teleported to me. The only reason why I don't like taking the Arcana is because I, I can also just walk there, you know? And that way I can take something else that will give me power or so. Oh, uh, actually an Arcana that gives you curse would be very interesting. At 11 minutes, that is a very, very good time usually, where the enemies start ramping up and you get a huge benefit. I'm just realizing, we have a slight problem here. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, look at them. They are constantly attacking me. I don't like that. Okay, careful there. Careful. Walking through. Okay, no. I think it will be fine. Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe I should also look for some candelabras and make sure that I get to heal. La Robo yet again? Hmm. Okay, the alternative is I just go over there. I think I'll do this. I'll get the empty tomes that we have on the map. How many do we have right now? Three? That is okay. Then I will also get the silver ring over there. And then we head back and get the curse items. I think that way it will be better to kill all the enemies, get more experience by having more kills, so more of them can respawn. Yeah, yeah, that sounds better. But for this, we still need one more item, which is the Skullomaniac. Um, and it could be spicy, to be honest. Let's just hope this works. At the, on the end screen, you will again have a comparison of all the weapons that I played so far, how they perform damage-wise and where La Roba is. I would say this weapon will actually have a decent amount, but rather something in the lines of maybe 250 million. Hopefully I'm not too too wrong with that. Uh, it's always hard to estimate because it depends on how quickly you level up. And for example, you can make the same run five times and you will get drastically differing results out of them. So they should be taken with a grain of salt either way. Like, oh, okay, that is a direction. But this doesn't show. Oh yeah, this weapon is definitely in this spot and will always have this and this much damage. Like for some of them, I couldn't even take curse because I didn't really know how to make them work. Okay, this is a joke. C could you please just give me the Skullomaniac? I would like to have the Empty Tome right about now. Come on. Just gotta hope for enough. Ooh, La Roba 8, nice. Just gotta hope for enough pianos to drop. They're very big, just like the coffin. And they usually tend to wipe most of the enemies. Today I will cut the video a little bit less. It was requested and the main reason was that the cutting was so much and so frequently that I got a little bit annoying. And I do agree with this. 
The issue is, I always want to cut if there are breaks, okay? I think this is fine, if I don't have anything to say. But recently, <laughs> I constantly lose my train of thought, you know? And then I stop talking, like I start a sentence, and about after 10 words, if there are 11 or 12, then I will just stop talking. And then I continue after like 2 or 3 seconds, <laughs> and that's a little bit weird. So I tend to cut that out, but um, let's see how it is today. Um, still taking a lot of damage. I don't like this. This is why I wanted to have Empty Tome ASAP. And I kind of also wanted to have Curse before we reach the 9 minute mark. If you can do this, the difference of experience or levels that you reach in a run is insane. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's not looking too, too good. Come on. I don't know what to do. Should I just reroll once? Um, I can reroll a couple of times, actually. Okay, I will, I will just max out everything that we have right now. Oh, okay, but I have to be careful. If I do this too much, then the enemies will just kill me before I get the necessary upgrades to kill them. This is a useless chest, sadly. There we go. And today I did prepare the main game file, the one where all the code is inside, where I modified it that I have all the weapons in the game, that I have all the arcana in the game, and, uh, more, el and more evolution chests, you know, all the stuff that is needed for all weapons in one single game. As I announced previously, this time we will actually evolve the weapons, so in the past I used to have for example Fire Wand and then you could get Hellfire as a level up. Just like this, it wouldn't take away the Fire Wand, but since we have Limit Break, it was requested that they actually do evolve, so we can focus our Limit Break on the evolutions. Because otherwise the Limit Break would focus mostly on all the basic weapons, because they are more likely to appear. And I can understand that, that's boring, you don't want to have that. And I think it will still be a lot of fun in general. Okay, like, you gotta be, like, where's Skullomaniac? It's just always one that wants to stay missing. Okay, it, it's also a bit my fault. I should just banish stuff to make sure that I get the stuff that I want. So instead what I'll do now is I'll walk over to the Empty Tome, and the moment I'm there, I will just banish. Either it shows up what I want, or I will banish. Uh, at the same time, the 100% bonus curse, that one is very, very good if I could get that. So if Trona's box shows up, I think I will just get it to 9 and hope that I don't die. <laughs> That's my main fear right now. Well, there we go. Okay, at 7 minutes, they will get the buff of the 100% curse and they already get very far in. Another 100% on top of what they already have, that could be a problem. There will be a 66% speed boost and HP boost that they receive in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Speed up! Ooh, okay, that is... Oh, okay. Um, did I kill myself? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that, oh, that is not good. I need... I, I need it now. Oh, do I go for more? One more. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. That's just... I should have banished. Okay... Maybe I can do it. At 8 minutes, they will become significantly easier to kill. Oh, there's a Rosary. Let me get that. They are Skullomaniac. Okay, we have one chance to do this. Now, I don't need my Revival, so it's totally fine if I die here. I obviously don't want to, because I might need it for the Guardians. But let's hope for the best. Wow, this actually looks very good. That looks promising. If I can get a few more level ups into Empty Tome, I might have this. But I somehow have to exit here <laughs> to get the experience. Well, maybe I don't need to. If I can wait until 8 minutes and easier enemy spawns, well, they will still damage me, but I deal a lot less damage than the purple guys here. That could work. Okay, come on. We're about to be there. I, I'll, I'll try my best. I, I can't promise anything. Come on, and there we go. Okay, okay. The easy guys have spawned. I will now collect everything. There's a freeze down there. There's empty tomb. There is footer. There's footer. There's freeze. Nice, this is all the experience that I needed. Empty Tome yet again. Do I go for the last Empty Tome? I think, yeah, I'll do it again. I know it's next to me, but I think it's more valuable to have it right now. And there we have a chest. It's useless yet again. And because this question constantly comes up, the reason why you get a gold bag instead of anything else is, it's a weapon. The slot there is a four weapon, and we don't have a weapon that can be upgraded, only items, so it does nothing. Oh, I don't like what this is looking like. Yeah, if I stand in the center here, it's more than fine, I think. But the moment I move around to get over to the ring, ooh. Okay, let's just use Mad Groove. I tend to not use it, and for situations like this, it's actually perfect. 
There's not even anything in the game that would be particularly good. Uh, there's Razor. Okay, let me check this out. I'm not too far away from it. I could also just walk over... No, 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 no. We'll use Mad Groove. Then the people that ask me to use Mad Groove because it's easier, they'll be happy. I'll be happy. Everyone will be happy. And we can just enjoy the rest of the video. So two more minutes and this is the farming wave. This is why I want to have as much curse as possible. But I can get a few level ups here. So I want to do that. I want to get to the limit break. We can check out what stats we have. And after round, I would say 10 to 20 level ups. I will just randomize it. But up until then, we can check out. So we have area. Very good. And speed. Also fine because then it bounces around faster. More area. Oh, please have a mount. Now, mount is usually a rare level up or a rare limit break stat that you get. It's not that that likely. Ooh. So it can take some time until you get it. I'm really concerned with enemies that are just really tanky and run through and possibly kill me. Okay, there's still nothing. Okay. Don't do this to me. Ooh, I need some health. More area. Whenever I see three options, I'm happy. And then it's just the same stuff over and over and over again. And area. Oh, I... Oh, nice. Okay, there's a mount. I also expect duration because this weapon has duration for whatever reason. I don't even know why. Like, it doesn't seem to just continue falling down. It will disappear. Um, so it would make sense, I think, if it was in there. Uh, there's minute 10. We are still getting area. Okay. This is, again, not complaining. Area is amazing. Do you see how big our furniture already is? If I would manually do all of this, that would be like crazy the size that we would reach the only downside is might is actually important as well as speed so you don't want to do that but a slight preference in the beginning now it looks like we have found everything it doesn't look like there's duration if i see it pop up on a level up then sure i will call it out if i notice it but otherwise i don't think it's there can't even walk through them come on okay let's random always if i see it pop up here it's a very long text so it shouldn't be that hard to identify then I'll call it out. Okay, there's a red gem over there. I keep taking damage. Oh, uh, I don't think I'll like the mad groove. So, okay, we have a freeze here. That means I could just spawn in all the guardians at once. Oh, there's a double footer. Nice. Okay, that was very important. Oh my god. I nearly died there. So, should I just attempt this? I could. Yeah, I think I'll do it and just see what happens. Is this the evolution chest or the arcana? That is arcana. Let's look for Mad Groove. Oh, I forgot. I don't have a lot of rerolls. Uh-oh. Okay. Wouldn't want any of these either way. We are looking for a tree. Um, these don't help me. This is one that I would have taken, but it doesn't matter at this point anymore. We are far ahead. And we didn't get a tree. Oh. I will just grab the Awake. This will allow me to survive. Or rather, it doesn't matter if I die. And I will just run through and get all the items that we want from the stage manually. And hey, that means we at least got something. And if I get to the last guardian with revivals left... Uh-oh. Uh, there we go. Yeah, if I get to him with revivals left, then I can just sacrifice myself to get bonus stats. And 20% is a lot, since it applies to all the bonuses that we get. So this is the first one out of four. This is not looking too good. That was a very, very early death. I hoped it would take a little bit longer, but uh, my weapons are not really keeping up here. I wonder if some of them actually do expire while falling down. And there we should have a few level ups. Yeah, okay, that was good. Let's just run through. I will lose another life, but I will get bonus armor and bonus HP. And there we go. Thank you. There's another bet. I uh, don't care. Okay, the purple guys actually do a lot of damage. Careful. I don't want to waste them, as I said. But at the same time, I don't want to spend 10 minutes until I just get over here. And then I have to walk back and get all the curse items. Okay, the Guardian should spawn any moment. I want this chicken, though. Got him. Triggered. Oh, where is he? Somewhere covered in the furniture. There he is. Okay. Careful. Careful. And he's still alive. Okay, wow, that was very good. That was a lot of damage. Now, the only question remains. How do I do this now? Without dying. Okay, that's the point. Um, let's, let's run through. There we go. We have the ring. Very good. I don't think we need the HP arrow. It doesn't help us too much and it wastes 8 level ups, which are valued a lot, right? Like, they are really good. If we get more area on the weapon and stuff like this, there we go. 
the ring is pretty much like forcing eight level ups into area. Like, it's 5% from the limit break, it's 5% from the ring, it's the same, except that our 5% apply to the bonuses that the weapon will get. So, it's a little bit different. In fact, it's a lot, a lot better. Uh, there we go, come on. Ooh. There is a freeze, but this is a farm wave. I don't really want to freeze farm waves. And it looks like our weapon is now at a point where it's so big that I can walk through the enemies. Not fluently. I do have to stop constantly, but as you can see, they just kill the enemies in front of me. While prior, when I was walking, then I would just constantly walk into them. Uh, there's the red gem. I would like to have that. Oh no, is the problem walking to the left side? No, no, well, maybe it's a little bit worse. I don't know. There are the level ups. Not a lot of level ups, I gotta say. <laughs> Our kills are skyrocketing. I don't understand where all the level ups are. Nah, there was only one more. No, that was it. Okay, there's the Guardian. Didn't want to trigger him. Somehow I managed to trigger him. I don't fully understand this. As long as you're above him, you will always see where the enemy is. Very important tip in general. Your horizontal line of your character has to be higher than the enemy or items. Like, for example, here. Uh, we actually can't see that. Interesting. That does work with Gatia Mari, the fighting cloud, but it doesn't work with the furniture for whatever reason. Okay, I mean, sure, I could just make a run for it, you know. <laughs> uh, I don't want to constantly stop walking. Yeah, let's do it like this. Let's soak up everything. They don't deal a lot of damage, so it shouldn't matter too, too much. Here. There was duration. Did you see that? There was duration. So it does exist. Okay. That is interesting. By the way, sorry if you hear some knocking or machinery or so. There, something is getting changed in the flat above, uh, like all the time, somehow. So yeah, that's going on there. Okay, I have two revivals left, but it's quite some distance that I have to walk. But keep in mind, every single time I die, I gain bonus stats. Oh, but something fell over. So it is actually a good thing to die for me. It's not just me entirely wasting the revivals, and I think we already know, yeah, the Guardian is not really a challenge for us, we just kill him. How do they get through like this? There's another chicken. <laughs> it's so weird how at the back everything dies and doesn't even get close. And in the front it's like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna kill you. I know it's not too weird because I'm walking to the right side and they spawn the center on the top, right? Makes sense. But it's still, it, it's just so one-sided. So extremely one-sided. There's a freeze, very good. I think I'll wait for a little bit and just look for the red gem. It should be, it's more likely on the left side. In fact, by far more likely, there we go. How many level ups do we get? Ooh. But I don't think there was a single duration one in there, interestingly enough. It seems to be incredibly unlikely to show up, or it's already maxed out, since duration and speed both have a cap. Uh, for whatever reason, a mount doesn't have a cap. I wish that was the case. Like, in the game, you have a projectile cap limit for every single weapon individually. And even if you say, I don't want to cap it in a mount, because that might hinder the progress of someone who doesn't have very good stats or golden eggs or stuff like this. I think it could still be limited to 50, you know? If the projectile cap is 25, uh, why don't you just cap it at 50? That way you don't waste any more level ups, but you could still spawn all of them. I mean, 50 and 25 sounds stupid, it's twice the amount, but let's take something like Hellfire that doesn't spawn all at once, you know? Well, actually, it doesn't really matter too much, does it? Because the other things that come into play, the interval and stuff like this, no. It could literally just be the projectile cap. If the projectile cap is 25, put the amount to 25 and that's it. I think that would make the most sense that you don't waste level ups and feel bad about it. Okay, wait, can I just walk at the top here? No, oh my god, the witches are so powerful, it's crazy. And if I walk at the top, I'll not see when Candelabras get destroyed at the bottom. Yeah, I've, I'm not a big fan. So, so far, what do I think of La Roba and what are your thoughts? Because that interests me. I think the weapon is strong. If you just stand around and if we would have gotten Mad Groove, this would have turned into, uh, yeah, let's just sit here and watch all the enemies die. But the way it is right now with walking around, it's a really bad weapon. It reminds me so much of, what is it called, Bracelet? Of Gio Runto or whatever his name is. I constantly forget his name, I don't know why. Yeah, it's pretty similar. Because that's the same, if you want to walk around, you'll die. If you stand still, you'll die. Okay, to be fair, it's worse. <laughs> it's a lot worse. Um, oh, plus one amount, nice. 
I mean, our screen is kind of already covered and everything. <laughs> that doesn't really do a lot, but I'll take it. And I still don't have the bonus curse yet. 18 minutes in. That's 18 minutes wasted, where more enemies could have spawned. And it's so- wait, 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 I have to check. Okay, I do have one revival. Yeah, I want to make sure, not that I end up dying here. Um, maybe a little bit more to the bottom. There's a Candelabra. I- no, that was gold bag, okay. Gold Fever could have been good. That is a very, very, very strong way to recover HP. The problem is you have to find gold bags. But usually the rate at, that you find them compared to chickens is 3 to 1. So 3 chickens for 1 golden bag. It can be the gold bag that is the small one, the red one that we just saw. Or the big one, but the big one is super rare. But you know, it's still enough that it outvalues anything that you get from the chicken as healing. Yeah, I think I should have taken it. And it was even there if I remembered right. Uh, there we go. But hey, the bonus here is with Awake that we get bonus stats on our weapon. That is something that Gold Fever couldn't have given to us. Um, hmm. Now there will be one point where I can run through. At 21 minutes, the enemies are incredibly weak. I don't know why they turn so weak all of a sudden. But it's very good if you need to rush through and just get to a certain point while walking through the enemies. But at the same time, I have very little HP. I want to have a little bit more for that. Otherwise, I have to stop all the time and make sure that I don't die. Okay. The stone mass is around the corner. That means we have it very soon. I have to constantly think about the update that is about to happen. I'm so excited to finally see how... Ooh, that, that could have been close. To finally see how Vandalier will be without it being broken on Golden Axe. I've talked about this a couple of times. A lot of you also have seen my smith. Uh, he has 22,000 eggs, not the most you've ever seen, not the most I've ever had on a character, but, but the thing was, I was very sold on Vandalier being a proper gold farming weapon. Not a top weapon, you know, maybe it can't keep up with Death Spiral, but overall that it's a very good weapon. But the thing is, it's broken, it just stops firing because of the incredibly short cooldown. Like, when it goes to negative 100% or so, it's unclear because for some people it's different than for others, but it will just stop shooting and you have no weapon anymore. It's ridiculous. And it's finally addressed, it will be fixed, and I want to see how good it is since the area increase of the weapon is stupid. It hits everything on the screen with every single projectile. But it will also probably completely lag out your game. That is my expectation. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, okay, if I don't find anything better... Oh, uh, there- funny enough, there's nothing better. <laughs> this is entirely useless. This doesn't help me at all. This doesn't do anything, so let's go for Mad Groove. Wow, we actually- we actually did go for it. Oh, Frozen! Um, where's the stuff? Uh, there's the ring. There we go. And... That is... Health, right? Oh, I actually don't remember it. <laughs> I'm 95% sure this is health. The left one. Okay, let, let's just take it. Yeah, this is the, the cursed one. I will just take it. And there is left... Yeah, that was the HP. I'll just banish it. That way we won't waste all the level ups. And there we go. Oh my god. We have to make sure that we kill them before we hit 22 minutes. Or else all the curse that I just got applies to them. But I think they should be dead rather quickly. Or maybe not. Oh, wow. I'll quickly take a look at the damage. Yeah, the damage of our weapons is incredible. It's insane. The reason why I turn off the damage numbers is they are so distracting. Like, incredibly distracting in the game. This card, we don't need that. There we go. We want to have max stats on this stuff. Should I just quickly collect all the chests? Let's do it. And there we go, that was the last chest, just to get them out of the way, you know, that I don't have to constantly avoid them. And when they come in every two minutes, <laughs> then I may collect some of them. I think this was better. And you saw a nice compilation of me just opening them. Okay. Yeah, these are the weak enemies, I can walk through them right now. Okay, the witches are not weak, okay? They are not weak. There's one more chest, it's just a normal one, luckily. Don't want to sit through another panda chest. That's 25 seconds, you'll never get back. And there's more experience. Ooh. I still have a revival left. I should probably use it up. Let me just quickly do that. There we go. This also means if anyone gets through and touches me, then I'm dead. I, I can't change this anymore. 
Um, I won't have the chicken over there. Do I care enough to risk my- Oh my god, there's another chicken. How did you get down there? Didn't I have Mad Groove over here at the top? Yeah, I did, right? And it circled here around me. So, why is the chicken down there? The candelabra is way above that. Okay, there we go. Man, I'm so excited about the new patch. It's like, just knowing about some of the characters, knowing there will be two more characters, possibly even a new weapon. I'm not too sure if this will happen. It, it The thing is, whenever there's a secret character, new weapons are not announced. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think there was a character, a secret one, that had a new weapon, correct? Oh, well that might explain why the secret character weapons are not announced as new weapons. Because they were already in the game. Oh, good job, Dex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Using your brain as usual. <laughs> okay. We're about to 24 minutes. I think this is perfect with Mad Groove. The two, mid the two minute interval that will just allow you to collect all the experience is pretty much perfect for a build up of experience and have a big difference in your weapon. I don't like constantly leveling up since you barely notice the difference. It's like if you look in the mirror every single day multiple times, you won't see a difference. But if you don't see a person for a month, they look completely different. Okay, maybe not a month, like let's say a year or so. For them nothing has changed, because every single day, for them it's just a minimal change. Minimally. Minimal. Yes, I like the word. Uh, but for you, it's a ginormous change. Okay, there we go. Let me get that. I think I got the red gem already either way. Oh, that, that was decent. 173. Yeah, the weapon might struggle a lot with the final damage values that we'll have. Like, it's a strong weapon clearing all the enemies, but it's not screen-wide like some other weapons, like Farachi, for example. I think Farachi is right now the one ruling the entire leaderboard at 740 million or so. The second place goes to Fuvula Fuvulu with 520 million. I'm really curious to see what this weapon ends up with. I will be so disappointed if it's below 200 million. I said myself, I think it will be 250 million, I think. Like, that's what I have in my head. Maybe I said 200 million, but honestly, I think it will be more. Between 200 and 400 million, but I want to keep it conservative because, well, um, I mean, look at the weapon. It's limited, right? We get a lot of kills, but it's kind of limited to how many enemies it can hit. So just comparing it to any other weapon that goes out of the screen to the spawn. Oh, oh, careful, where's the boss? The boss died, right? That was the boss. Yes. Good. Oh, 131 gold. Bro, oh, that's almost a golden egg. Oh, not really, <laughs> but almost. Okay. Oh, it's so annoying. My tooth that got extracted, the big boy, on the left side of my mouth at the top, for two weeks, not a single problem was there. I was warned, information is very likely that I will have issues there, you know, and I have to take something. If that happens, if I notice something, I take it right away. Nothing was happening. All was good, right? And since yesterday... It started burning and stinging because it's inflamed or infla in inflammation. You know, the, the stuff that I was talking about, okay? And I'm like, why? Why two weeks later? I must have bitten on something that got inside that was sharp, like a piece of bread or so. Ooh, oh my god. That was amazing. Thank you. But yeah, I think this is what happened. And that's not great. It's really annoying. When I talk, when I laugh in certain ways, then I feel it. It always feels like it's at the bottom of my teeth, the pain. And it's actually not. Like, when I touch it with my finger, I feel nothing there. But when I talk, it's just the pain spreading. Uh, okay, 441. Not bad. Mm. Oh boy, I'm so excited for the next week. So starting August, I'm going down to 60% at work. It's a very big move for me, it's also a very scary move in general, but 60% just means in case this is not a well-known concept to you. I will work 3 out of 5 days at work. They will be flexible, one is most likely always Fridays, one is most likely always uh, Mondays, and the last one is flexible, but this will allow me to prepare more videos, or at least put more work into it. Especially when I saw the thumbnails that I used to do and compare them to now, I'm like, wow, what happened? I mean, I know what's happened, okay? It was a little bit exhausting, in general, but this will just allow me to go back and also do more videos, put more work into the thumbnails and stuff like this. Not that I think my current thumbnails are bad, but I think I don't take the time that I used to take where I would make three, four, five versions of the thumbnail and then pick out the one that I thought would perform the best. Like, just reflect the best and looks the best. 
Like, I don't remember the last time I made a three-dimensional thumbnail. That was also good. Enough of that talk. We don't care about this. We are 27 minutes in. We are about to soak in everything that is on the stage. I don't want to pick up the vacuum. I want to pick this up at the end of 29 minutes and see what level we reach. It's not the worst thing ever if it doesn't happen. I can live with that. Um, but let's hope for the best. Oh no, I have to use one after 28 minutes. Okay, let me walk over there. There are probably a lot of items on the floor. Not on the floor, but can Labras? Uh, um, hello? Did I just take damage? Yes. Okay. It also sounded like I picked up a vacuum. So, and that, that was one of the two vacuums that I needed. Great. This wave here already gives a ton of experience in comparison to other waves. The green blobble heads, they give 30 experience instead of the usual 3. So the witches, they give 3. This is the highest normal value. And the 30 that they give is a ginormous jump. I don't know why. But the next wave... Okay, I hope you don't hear that. There's some stuff going on. No, but the next wave is only 30 experience. Every one of them. There's another vacuum. Oh, that is perfect. That means I can walk over here. I will pick up this vacuum at the end of the wave. So we kill as many enemies as possible at wave 29. And uh, yeah, then we have the vacuum to the left there. Come on, furniture. You can do it. I believe in you. Let's make a quick damage check because I will forget this at the end. We are dealing 270 damage. That is solid. Very solid, I would say. All in all, the thing is, we just saw the damage increase. I don't think too much will change with that, so I don't really bother turning it on again. Oh my god. How many levels did we just get? We had 262, and keep in mind, at 28 minutes, we got all the experience. So this is just what accumulated in this time now. Oh my god. Yeah, it is a strong weapon, is the thing. It's not that great AoE-wise, though, I <laughs> look at the size now. It's ridiculous. It's not that that great compared to some other weapons, but its damage is incredibly high. It's like a Labora, you know, where it covers multiple spots at once with multiple projectiles. If I could get another vacuum. Um, doesn't look like it. No, that only looks like chicken. Huh. What a weird world if you think about it. <laughs> Rosaries out of candelabras, chicken, vacuums. Like, what is going on here? And I'll pick it up. C come on, there we go. And we reach level 200, 300, 300! Okay, big C to 300, I'm happy. 250 million damage, 250 million damage! Please, 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 please. Please tell me the first estimate I gave was actually 250.